welcome to my channel. It's Jana, the Preppy Crafty Girl, and I am here with another estate sale haul. Sorry if you hear trucks going on in the background. They've got some construction going on outside. But I want to get this video done because I have got to get my desk cleaned off because I have a bunch of projects I'm working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Let's get some big things off that are not uh, scrapbook or junk journal or craft related and one of the things is this incredible uh picture look at this with the it's got daisies on it so you know it's yellow it's happy it's a uh, handmade in 1976 so anyway thought that was adorbs pick that up won't that be really cute right now is daffodil season here so it's gonna look great with some daffodils in it or somebody told me they call them buttercups here, which I think is really odd because I only know them as daffodils. Buttercups were a totally different flower growing up. When I was little, we used to pick them out in the field and put them underneath your chin, and then you'd look at each other to see if you liked butter. I don't know, did any of you guys used to do that? So here is my receipt for all of the stuff I'm gonna show you, plus I bought a bunch of plates, uh, which I don't, have here I have some little plates so I spent $22.60 I gave myself a $25 limit and I scored because I got under the $25 limit uh, let's go ahead and show you what I got uh, the tree that's another big thing was uh, marked two dollars but this was the 20% off sale so I got it for a buck sixty but remember uh, I don't know if it was the last video, I can't remember, because I kind of do these and then I schedule them ahead for you guys. And I had bought that um, Mark Roberts, it was like a little fairy thing that held a wine bottle, but I was looking for a tree and I thought, oh my gosh, this is the perfect size for that Santa wine bottle thing. And then I've got a little uh, red handled rolling pin oh my gosh words are escaping me today this is crazy and so i thought that would be super cute to add into that again i paid a dollar sixty for that and that's older i could tell from the the base of it okay let me get this off too i got some vintage wall not wallpaper but vintage wrapping paper it says for dad but i love the barn and the factory or the mill uh, the barn here's another barn I love this I actually had one of these when I was growing up and we had an old cow barn and a horse barn so I will pro ours was white though but I'll probably use this in my own journal and then put it in some of the farm journals that I'm working on so I grabbed that that was the only wrapping paper there I think somebody grabbed the wrapping paper before I did what else is big? This is big, I'm gonna get this off, but I bought a bingo set because I wanted these little wooden balls. This was really old set, but I want the little wooden balls because I wanna make charms out of them. I got these plates because they match the other ones and I haven't found the smaller. I am looking all over for these. This is the Four Seasons collection. It's called Early Summer. It was made in Japan and i have 11 of the larger ones i would love 12 but i have them i'm using them for one of my days when i have the women's event so if i can find i need nine more of these and one more of the large i was like super excited to see this i haven't seen this pattern since i moved here so uh, that means that pattern is here somewhere i got this which is a notepad that has little strawberries or raspberries. I think it might be raspberries. And I'll just cut the name off at the top and just use this as a writing space. I thought this was really cute for summer. Oh, let me see. I paid $2.40 for the bingo set. So that was the bingo cage and the balls. And then I got a whole bag of bingo pieces. So they're... I guess it came with some kind of shaker uh, instead of like the thing that you go around with. It has the little markers, markers, and then it had 
all of these cards. So these look a little bit newer. These are def definitely older. Semi new, <laughs> older, these are older. The ones from Springfield, Massachusetts, those are older. And then I got these. So apparently they had either she liked to collect bingo cards or they were just, she was just buying the bingo sets and taking the cards out and making like a big, you know, set out of it so they could play bingo with more people, I don't know. So anyway, got that, that was two, how much was that? That was $2.40 because it was regularly $3. Uh, let's see. I got two of these quilt shams, but I've already cut them up because I am going to be using these. And uh, so I already cut the backs off. But they're hand quilted, and I thought these were going to be great. And I have a pattern. I have the big quilt that I got at the Goodwill bin. So I thought this was interesting that these were at her house. Maybe she donated to the Goodwill bin the quilt. I don't know, or the family did. Okay, who else picks stuff up off the ground when you find free ephemera? I do. So I was out at my house construction site and I found this laying on the ground. So I'm adding this to my book. Oh goodness. Okay, let's see. I got this Anison tin. She did not charge me for this. Unless she just kind of bunched it in with a bunch of stuff, which she may have. Uh, I want to put this on the front of a cover of a journal that I'm working on. So I thought that was super cute, that little tin. The flash cards, I was charged $4 for, which I thought was a little high. But when I opened them up and I saw the patina of them and the color of them, these were definitely older. Uh, I went ahead and paid the $4, you know. It would have taken me that long just to coffee dye them or tea stain them. It was worth the $4 for me. Normally I can pick up a pack for a buck. Or she may have included these because I got these too. So these are called my first book and and my A book. And it has flashcards in them with the word, a sentence, and then a picture. And I thought these were super cute. And these are from 1990, so these are not that old. But they had cute illustrations on the back pool of that because it has the little people. How cute. Little girl. This must be mom, mommy. Kiss mommy. Aw. Hug, give a friend a hug. These are cute, I've never seen these before. So that was worth it. Okay, these were $2. So she must have charged me with some, cause I don't, they're not here anywhere. So maybe she charged me $2 a piece for the flash, flash cards or $4 for each one. I mean, for the set of them, cause I don't see that anywhere. I picked these up. I do not know what these are. Has any, does anybody know what this stuff is? It looks like mother of pearl. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It looks like it might be some sort of shell or abalone. Maybe abalone is what this is. It has two holes in it like this. Would anyone know what that would be used for? I have a whole set of them. They are really neat though. Don't know what those are for. Some kind of sewing notion. And let's see, I did get this book. It was a dollar. It's the old frosty little golden book. It's missing the front page, but there's still a lot of fun illustrations in here. So I went ahead and got that. A dollar, okay, now I know I'm cheap because I know I can get them cheaper at <laughs> the Goodwill bins, but I haven't found frosty, so you know. Okay, I got the handkerchief, or all this, fabric all the fabric 
she charged me two dollars for so I got oops this thing fell out I got this really pretty little floral hanky and then I got two of the oh wait a minute I got one of those and then three of these and then this one, this one, which I think was a sheet and it just is torn up, but I'm loving, I love the print on it. Very retro. And then this, which I have a ton of this fabric. These, these I would say are daffodils. Don't they look like daffodils? However, I don't know why they're pink and white. But I got a lot of this. There's probably like four, four yards. And this is by Calor. Copyright Calor International Limited. I did not, I don't see any other print where it has a date. On it or maybe that was the name of it right there I'm not sure anyway I thought that was super cute so four bucks for that let me tell you the story about before I get to these last few things okay about the lady which I'm gonna put her a little snippet of the video and she's gonna be in it. She was in the garage with me. Well, she followed me everywhere I went throughout the house because I was looking for fabric, wrapping paper, and she was digging through. She tried to get to the fabric first. And so finally I was just like, whatever, I have tons of fabric, go ahead, make, you know, whatever. So she would take the whole box of it and then she'd go like she was gonna buy it but then I found pieces like tossed everywhere all over the house. It was so bizarre. So anyway, yeah, I took a video of her just to just a quick little snippet so you guys could see her. And I don't understand what her deal was, but whatever. Okay, the other thing was that I got, I stopped at this store called Ollie's. I've never been there. And I was on that side of town. I thought, I'm going to run in and see what they have. And oh my goodness, I'd never been in there. It's a big discount store. And I bought a couple of books, not crafting related books. And then I found this America the Beautiful by Pebbles scrapbook paper. And when I saw that it had the gingham in it, and I'm working on those, working on those, uh, what do you call them? Recipe journals. Still, yes. I thought, okay, this is gonna be good because I don't have enough scrapbooking paper for it. And even the blue, I don't like to use a lot, but I do like to use the covers of the inserts as scrapbooking paper. The bandana would be cute, this, and also the wood grain. So I thought those would be really cute and maybe this red and white. And then the rest I will use in my patriotic journal that I'm doing for myself and uh, ah. so that's if you haven't picked this one up yet and you have an Ollie's near you I just got this and so anyway and for all this paper it's only single-sided but that's I'm fine with that it, it was only $4.99 so you guys know how much you know guys know how expensive these are and even when they're marked down at Hobby Lobby or wherever, if you can even find them anymore, uh, you know how expensive. It said their their regular price was $17.99, but I think they go for more around $15. So anyway, I did get that. That was one thing, scrapbook or crafting related, that I got at Ollie's. Then I went to Dollar Tree and I found these, which I thought these were gonna be, this is gonna be stunning on a page. So unfortunately, it only you only get like one big image and that's or you get two images or you cut it up or you could do a border maybe on the bottom of a page or it's really I got them because I knew they were tag sided tag size, but I didn't 
and that's all you get on that. Now, I don't know about these because I haven't opened this one yet. Let me open it. Did I open? I opened it. I just haven't taken them out. So you get, how many in here? 14, they're calling guest napkins. And then this one, you get 22 of them for $1.25. These were at the Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree, head there now if you like this pattern. And again, you only get that. So you don't get all four sides. That's kind of a rip off, huh? Normally they cover the whole thing, but that's okay. I'll have this and um, that'll be a cute pocket on the bottom of a page or covering a tag or, you know, just fussy cutting out the images on there and mod podging them or map meeting them or whatever. So that, my friends, is my estate sale haul from this week. I have so much more coming up because I went back and went to two this weekend and I have a bunch of stuff that I picked up this weekend. So I'm gonna show those in a different video. They'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eye out and keep your eye out for some crafting videos. I'm trying to get one up a week and I've been pretty good about it. I think I fell behind last week, but I have them all stacked up and ready to go, but I couldn't get to my desk because, because it was covered with this stuff. So I had to get this cleaned off and do this video. And I just wanna thank you guys uh, for supporting my channel. And I'm getting so close to a thousand. And I am, if not, by the time I show this, hopefully I'll be at a thousand and I'm gonna announce my giveaway. Once I reach a thousand, I'm going to announce the giveaway that I'm going to end up doing. I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. And yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Thanks for um, following me and thanks for subscribing, giving me a thumbs up and also for uh, making a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing was. And also if you know what these are used for, I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows what these are. So Alrighty, see you guys later. Bye.